Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use the CC and BCC feature on Gmail. So basically, CC stands for Carbon Copy and BCC stands for Blind Carbon Copy. Before starting the video, I'll briefly describe about CC and BCC for you guys. For that, first of all, let's open the Gmail app. It will be easier to demonstrate for me. So here's the inbox. If you tap on the floating compose option at the bottom right corner of the screen, you'll be able to write or compose an email email and you'll see this page. On this page you can see the option 2 below the from option and on the right corner of the box you can see the down faced small arrow. Tap on it and here you can see the option CC and BCC. So basically when you want to send an email to someone you'll write their email address on the box that says 2 just like this. Now you can also send the same copy of the email to another person. I'll give you an example. Suppose your boss assigned you a task and the task was to send your project details to another one of your juniors or any other employee. And you want to show your boss that you have sent the project details to your other friends or juniors or other employee. That is the email address of either your junior or your employee will be written on the box that says to. Similarly, the email address of your boss should be kept on the box that says CC or BCC. If you do this, your boss will be able to see that you have sent the email that includes the project details to your junior or other employee. Now let's talk about the main difference between CC and BCC. So basically, when you enter an email address on the CC box, then the recipient, that is the upper email address, will be able to see that you've also sent the copy of this email to another person. They will also see the email address of the person you have sent the copy to. But when you enter the email address of the person you want to send the copy to on the BCC box, then the recipient, that is the intotech.guide, they won't be able to see that I've sent a copy to another person. Once you enter the email address, all you have to do is enter the subject, compose the email, in the way you want and you can send it to whoever you want so this is it for the tutorial i hope it was helpful don't forget to like the video and stay tuned for further tutorials thank you